Hello, you found red. Welcome back, and uh, today we're going to talk about a little problem you might run into that you don't normally expect when getting old hardware. Now, today I'm showcasing this HD 5970 I picked up on eBay for, at the time, more than it was seemingly worth. Now, with all the weird GPU pricing, it's worth more than I picked it up for but that's beside the point. So originally I bought this as a um, non-working GPU paid more than it should have been worth because that cooler looks immaculate and the sticker is amazing. I figured at the very least I can get another 5970 down the road throw this cooler on it and have a pristine example. But turns out this card works. So I threw this card in my test bench. Didn't even the only thing I did was dust it a little with my uh, compressed air. So you know, threw a little compressed air through it, but it that even didn't get much out of here. This is so clean. Which brings me to the question, why was it non-working? Why did the seller think it was non-working? Because of my next issue. And this is an issue that you're probably going to see on a lot of old hardware that had problems with the software side when it was launched. See, the 5970, this is a dual GPU card from AMD released at the end of 2009, like literally end of 2009. See, dual GPU card, I love these things. But this thing's big too. But this it's a dual GPU card released by AMD at the end of 2009. And um, one of the problems I was running into is that the last driver packages that AMD has on their website for TerraScale, that's the, uh, that's the uh, uh, cores in here, they're both TerraScale cores, uh, that driver doesn't allow it to be unlocked. So, and this is, this is actually a big problem with this particular card. Like of all the cards, the 5970 had this problem. So it'll, I mean, it'll go into Windows just fine. It'll boot up. It'll work in Windows 7. Fantastic. But it just doesn't have the second adapter enabled, which makes no sense. Like, why would that be? Um, well, right here. Here's uh, here's another user's um, screenshot. Uh, when I was looking for um, uh, solutions to this problem, I ran across many different solutions, all different with different approaches. Doesn't make any sense to why that would be, but as you can see here, disabled adapter. That's exactly the problem I got with everything. But I did find out there was one driver. There was one driver that that it worked great on right before that happened. Let me let me not let me not uh, destroy my mic. So, the one driver that it worked great on before this all happened happened to be a beta driver that you can't find anywhere. That was my second problem. Well, if I'm going to test a driver that was known to work on this, I need to find said driver. And that was the next problem. You can't find the driver. Uh, all the links I found at initially were either dead links or changed. As in, they pointed to AMD website, but then AMD changed the website, so now you can't get that particular content anymore. So I kept doing searching and searching and searching until I came across this. This is a French website. Um, uh, TLD. Uh, Toolesdrivers.com And this is where I finally found the 13.11 uh, Beta 8 driver for the Radeon HD 5000 all the way up to the R20. This was the last known good driver for running the dual GPU 
on the 79 or other 5970. So I got this through um, then uh, DDU to uninstall uninstall the drivers on my test system. Uh, went in and had the Windows and Windows 7 install its own normal drivers. Made sure that both cores were disabled, then re-enabled to verify that uh, in the in the device manager to verify that they got the Windows 7 drivers because that's what I heard was one of the reasons why it would do this because it wouldn't activate that second core right away so I made sure I went in and I double checked them I uh, uh, what I would do is I would remove them from from device manager and then re uh, rediscover them to make sure that Windows put its own first driver on those two. Then I installed the 13.11 beta 8 drivers which I could only get from this site. I could not find any other sites that had a download for this. So if you if you want drivers for your old uh, 5970 that are known to work with Crossfire, right here's how you're gonna get them. So, went through all that, and voila, it worked. It's been in my test system for a couple weeks now. Works great, except some weird driver issues that were probably fixed later, because I really can't use Firefox on that system anymore, because it, it scrambles the letters and stuff in a funny way. That's, that's the weird driver then maybe it's the maybe it's the card itself I don't know but I've tested this card under heaven I've tested it under a couple other minor tests and it works great it keeps quite cool to, considering it's a blower that I've never taken apart myself to make sure it's clean and it's pretty minty fresh but that's the trouble with old graphics cards is the software side sometimes that's the worst part you can have a perfectly good functioning card that otherwise looks mint but if you can't get the software to work with it then it's no good and that's the trouble with old graphics cards. Sometimes it's not even the card, it's not even the hardware. The hardware may be great like this is, but it's the software. It's the drivers. It's how it all talks. And that is one of the hidden things about old cards that people don't think about all the time. Unless they're going really old. Something that's, you know, DX9 or older and then you start needing Windows XP and other oddities or special boards even. Moral of the story? Software is half of the equation. That's the moral of the story. So, given all that, I am glad that I actually picked up this card. I found at least one set of drivers that will work with it. Uh, I'm in the process of trying to find a newer one that might work or maybe since I installed the old one I can install a newer one on top of it and have it work not sure yet uh, but so far I got it to work and hopefully I can get a newer driver on so I have more compatibility with games running Crossfire because that's the whole reason I have a dual GPU card is to run Crossfire Crossfire is dead in modern games, but who says I want to play modern games? <laughs> so, that's the thing to look for with uh, old graphics cards. Now, this hardware is pretty. This cooler is great. There's another version of the 5970 that, I'm, that I want to get eventually. That's the uh, Sapphire Toxic version, of course. They had a Toxic version that looked sweet and had more uh, VRAM. It had, this card has, what, um, one gig per core, so two gigs total. The Sapphire Toxic has four gigs total, or two per core. That'd be great for testing uh, more games. 
I think. But that's for another day. Hopefully when the graphics market dies down. So that's all I've got on this card for now.